Look, I couldn't talk about it. Couldn't talk about what? You accused me of pretending not to see that you're dead. That's how I feel, Red. You have to accept it. I just... I couldn't face your death. I admit that. Your death left me desolate. I knew in my heart that it should have been me. Then you came back. I snatched at the chance to undo what had been done. I don't wish to deny your pain. No. I've just tried to deal with mine. Wow. That's... I hadn't thought of it that way. Thank you for your honesty. There's more of them. Have a bit of this. Must I do everything? Dodge it if you can. This looks like Lamy's stuff. Only more scattered. Even with the void shifting, the book should be around here somewhere. Got it. That seemed a little too easy. We have the symbol we need. Let's go back to the mountain and find her hiding place. First things first, Red. Let 
Pretty wee shite, aren't you? Get back up! Move it! Crows incoming! Did we miss a few? This isn't over yet. It's going all out. Pattern needs to line up.
Aim at that lantern. Since when are corpses this hearty? A wee island kiss for you.
This is it. Seeker is behind this wall. Let the Let veil, veil of unknowing, unknowing be, be lifted. lifted. Let, Let us see, see through the, the eyes of Grace Pennington. Ceridian? You're surprisingly slow, even for a banisher. You're late. Or early. At last we find you. Missed me that much, did you? You could have hurried. You always think you have more time, and suddenly you don't. It wasn't in vain. We have come far and learned much. I hope so. But don't think you have it all figured out. You still banish us, after all. We are indeed, Grace. So, you know. I know you're Pennington's daughter, I. Still, can I see the family resemblance? In the end, neither could he. I must have hurt. Does it matter now? The captain is no more, and till the end, so was his daughter. I defied him. I sought forbidden knowledge and stepped beyond the boundaries. At the end of that most painful of journeys, Grace was dead, and Seeker was born. Yes, it hurt, but it was worth it. I accept it now. I accept it all. Ceridian has left a hollow, and I am called to fill it. I accept. I am ready for my role in this world. Are you ready for yours? The time has come for us to go back to New Eden and face the nightmare. Yes. Balance must be restored. You must face your fate and end the curse. Ceridian said the only way back was through the void, but the pond seemed broken. We need your help. Of course you do. We're listening. Remember Ceridian's words. If you were to defeat the Nightmare, your hearts must be open to each other. No barriers. Your bond must be strong. We've never been stronger. This Void Breach is not like the others. This one... leaks. This one sits at the rotten core of the entire region. You must leave whatever still burns in your hearts at the threshold. If you don't, the Void will kill you. Do you know where in New Eden Town the Void shall lead us? The trick is to focus on your happiest memories and let them take you there. At least that's how it's always worked for me. We'll try. And when at last you succeed, I too shall return to New Eden Town. I shall see you there. We looked for you everywhere. Why did you leave the Maya Marshes? I needed time. Silence. My own space. Hidden away behind Lamy Haskell's dissimulation spell. Oh. You know about that. It held a full seven years. Isn't that impressive? This is the place where I embrace solitude. This is where I made it a strength. As a child, I hated being alone. It left me vulnerable to a deceptive creature. To have the gift with neither mastery nor guidance can be very dangerous. By the time I was able to banish my supposed friend, I had come within a whisper of losing my entire family. To vanquish such an insidious spirit alone, you were either very lucky or 
immensely talented. In the void, I felt... I felt as if it were there. I felt it call to me. Perhaps it was. But chase the fear from your heart. For you are stronger now, Antea Duarte. And you are no longer alone. You learned magic by yourself? Not really. Not at all. First, Lammy Haskell's forbidden books told me that magic was real. They say you must look out for the quiet kids. And that was me and Lammy. Reading those books opened my eyes to worlds of wonder. But I did not learn witchcraft until Ceridian found me. Lammy showed me the view from the prison window, but my mistress walked me right out the door. Lammy was relieved to hear you well. He talked about paying you a visit. When I was exiled, he was the only one who'd help. Sweet boy. But now is not the time for visitors. Later, perhaps. Later, when you have lifted the curse. The boy will be disappointed. He has a thing for witchery. And with that, we'll take our leave. Bring peace to this troubled land and your troubled hearts, my friends. I know it's not easy to hear, especially when it's me saying it. On the contrary. Thank you, Seeker. We'll do our best. What's that? That is not your concern. She's the custodian now. May she have all the wisdom of her mentor and more. I wish I had half the wisdom of mine. You're not as stupid as you sound. You'll be fine. Ready to walk through it if you are.
In the fields outside Havana, the air is thick and hot this time of year. The downpour lasts for days. I used to lie on the grass, face to the sky, and let the rain wash over me. I'd come home soaked through, smelling of salt and dirt, and drove my mother insane. I never thought I'd hear myself say this, but I miss it. I miss home. Tell me about your mother. She was tall. Eyes like jeweled daggers, flashing sharp one moment, pure beauty and poise the next. She was about as predictable as the weather. It made me nervous. I doubt the years have softened her. In her defense, I was a decidedly insolent child. I should have written. I should have taken the time to visit. And I should have told you, as often as I felt it, how deeply in love I am with your tenacity. You seize the light and cling to it, no matter what. Red, if for some reason I don't come back, I... That won't happen. And there's that light again. I know you. And because I know you, I need you to promise me, if I don't come back, you won't let that light go out. Uh. Thank you for standing by my side through it all, for everything. Into the fray, then. Always. What is it? Baggage I may need to finally face. Let's press on. Stay watchful. Spectres are still drawn to you. Oh, brilliant. You chose the schoolhouse too. Of course. Our last night together. I knew it. And now the question is, how do we reach it? I like your doll. What are you doing? This is Aleja. She is a witch, and she is running away from the Spanish soldiers. She had a horse, but he died. He was an old friend. Maybe we can give her a raft. Patience and Taya, you know that we have to be twice as good as them to get half of what they have. Ugh. I can't stand anymore. Shall we?
I think your mother is jealous of you. I'm better than she was at my age. Of course she is. We could train in secret. Practice when she's not looking. These are memories from my childhood. But why here? I have another insight. I don't think he likes us much. Let's get back up! Over there, a passageway. Paths form and reform. Your passageway's already gone. This place has a plan for us, and I suspect we may not like it. It's just us here, aren't they? Damn it! The void centers in on us. Perhaps you've been thinking about your past and memories are manifesting. Or the other way around. Piss off! Heads up! I have to do this myself. You'll get it! Rory, tell me. Calendre is here. Your childhood friend is here. What passed for my friend? Right. We leave now. You explain later. Careful, Red. It's close. Have a bit of this. Stay on there. Stay and play with me. Oh, 
feel like I've been led by the nose. It's playing with us. Wants us to feel powerless. <laughs> I'll feast on your soul. You won once. Never again. Never again. Come and play, Antea. Come and play. You will never leave this place. Poor little Antea. All alone. No one to play with. No one to talk to. Poor little Antea. Gifted and talented. Constricted. Bound. Abandoned. Go to hell. You're dead. Vain and foolish. And oh, the killing he has done for you. You're a poison to the goodness of your man's heart. This thing was never human, Red. Don't indulge it. I know a yellow coward when I see one. Red. Damn you. You want to play, Calendre? Fine. Let's play. At last you visit Calendre. Your bestest friend. We are not friends, and your name is not Calendre. <laughs> Perhaps I should name myself by what called me to you. Your weariness? Your solitude? <laughs> your arrogance? You cannot play your own tricks with me, Calendre. I am stronger now. So much stronger. Mm. Bold of you to claim for a very dead banisher. I was a little girl when we met. You used me, manipulated me, and made me believe that was love. However arrogant, however angry I was, you changed me, disfigured me. I abandoned my home. I fled from everything and everyone. I thought I had to be alone so that you could never happen again. For that, I forgive myself. But you, Calendre, no. You I do not forgive. Your little pet will be eaten away by his grief. Can you forgive yourself for that? I don't need you. I never did. Your tricks don't work on me. Not anymore. I shall not let you go. No. This is my realm now. You sent me here. And now that you have joined me, I shall feed. Then you are still a fool. Antea, Antea. Such a clever girl. So good with words of power. Is that how you seduced your little pet here? <laughs> My name is Nasuku, and I am the relentless servant of the Queen of Kerr. The hell? Come, stay a while, stay forever. Still so easily led. My 
Cheating. We must fuck. This is my realm. As stubborn as you are, you My domain, my rules. I will reap your soul this time. I was a child when I beat you, remember? Running away, are we? My rules. 
This is my realm. I will reap your soul this time. This is my realm. This is my realm! That was something. I never told you the full story. I'm sorry. No need. Please, let's get out of here. We're here. Onwards. There's no more time to lose. Is the entire town lost to Ivy? Her influence must still be strong. But as Charles would say, another day, another soul to save. These people have no idea what they're up against. We really had no idea what we were walking into. You died. Because I was arrogant. I did. And you were.
Once I bruise the heart, destroy the wisps within its roots. Basta. That spectre's seen a corpse and it wants it for its own. Watch out, spectre pos- Let's get back up. Would you a lecture on the sanctity of marriage? <laughs> Esther wouldn't dare. And we don't need a piece of paper to keep us together. I, I remember you telling her. I miss her. Ha <laughs> ha! 